this is Vai Manoharati, Department of Cyber Security, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today I am going to explain you the concept of virtual private network implementation, how uh, how the top virtual private network is going to be implemented on the network. So virtual private network, so it is one type of network, it is a one type of network like a local area network, like a local area network, but a virtual private network is a secure, a secure private channel, a secure private channel. It, uh, it access, it access internet privately, it access internet privately. So, directly it says that what virtual private network is a private network accessing, is a private network accessing across public network, across public network network. So when we are using internet, when we are using public internet, automatically we have to we have to use we are going to use a, a private network. We are going to use a private network. That private network is called as virtual private network. Virtual private network. So how the virtual private network is established on this public internet means so it creates a secure tunnel. It creates a secure tunnel. That is nothing but a secure channel. A secure tunnel or a secure channel over a public network. Over a public network. So whatever it may be, the public network is a type local area network or man air where area network or metropolitan area network. But create a secure tunnel, a secure channel over the public network. So creating a secure channel over a public network. So like client to the firewall, like example client to the firewall or router to router or firewall to firewall. So in this basis they are establishing a channel to access public network as a private, to access public network as a private. So by creating these channels, by creating these tunnels, the public network creates a private network and it uses it uses the internet as the public backbone to access a secure private network so it uses it uses the internet as the public backbone to access secure private network access secure private network and remote employees can access their office network so those who are working from the remote locations, those who are working from the re remote locations and those who are accessing uh, the data from remote locations, they can establish, they can use this secure channel, this secure channel to access their office work, office network. And here, the virtual private networks are two types. One is remote access network and the second one is what? Site to site virtual private network site to site virtual private network so creating channel creating virtual channel or virtual tunnel for accessing public network as a private so for that the virtual private network is going to be used so there are three basic types of virtual private network there are three basic types of virtual private network one is remote access vpns or Virtual private dialogue networks. So we can call it as remote access, remote access VPN, or as v, um, virtual private dialogue networks. Virtual private dialogue networks. And the second one is what? Site to site virtual private network. Site to site virtual private network. Where multiple, flex, multiple fixed sites are connected over a public network. So in site to site VPN, where multiple fixed sites, multiple fixed sites are connected over a public network, over a public network, that is an internet. Example is internet. So site to site. And next point to point VPN. Point to point VPN. These are also referred to as leased line VPNs. Leased lines VPNs. So they are taking uh, leased lines and they are creating uh, some 
some virtual channels for the virtual private networks. And here, two or more networks are connected using a dedicated line from an internet service provider. So, two or more networks are connected using a dedicated line from an ISP. That is nothing but internet service provider. Internet service provider. So, internet service provider provides provides this service for the two or more networks and these lines can be packet or circuit switched. So there are uh, different types of uh, switching techniques are there. So one is packet switching, one is packet switching and the second one is circuit switching, circuit switching. So these lines can be packet or circuit switching. So these lines are either packet switching mechanisms or circuit switching mechanisms. For example, T1's Metro Ethernet, T1's Metro Ethernet, DS3, ATM or something else, ACM or something. All these are all these are connected using dedicated line from internet service provider. So all these networks are connected using dedicated line from internet service provider. So that's why these lines are we can say that packet switched or either circuit switched. Packet switched or other circuit switch. So here we can see the example like how the virtual private network is going to be accessed. So it is going to be. So here this is the branch office and this is the headquarter office and this is the mobile user and this one is the home user. Suppose the user A, home user is going to be A. And mobile user is going to be B, and branch is going to be a M C that is C, and headquarter is indicated that D. That is headquarters are nothing but headquarters indicates Dubai, branch indicates Hyderabad, branch indicates Hyderabad. Suppose if any person from the branch or any person from the headquarters or any person from the mobile user or any person from the home user wants to share a files, wants to share a files or share their documents, anything, they have to use the channel called virtual private network. They have to use the channel called virtual private network. So, here the virtual channel is established, virtual private network channel is established for accessing the internet, for accessing the internet privately, for accessing the internet privately, so that this virtual private network, this is the private channel, this one is the private channel for both A and C, this is the private channel for both A and C, and this is the private channel for both A to B, this is the private channel for both A to B, and here this is the private channel for B to D, this is the private channel for B to D, and this is the private channel for C to C to D. So, like the way all the all the entities, all the branches, all the users are going to be implemented with the private virtual private network, so that they can share their files or documentation in private network. They can share their files or documentation in private network. They cannot use public network because the public network allows all the different network profit. But the but this private network allows private network allows so private network allows data transmission is safely data transmission is safe. So all this point, all this point is nothing but implementation of virtual private network. Implementation of virtual private network. So that no one can able to no one can able to explore their data to other users or other networks because all these users are all these users are accessing the data or accessing the uh, files from different locations with the private network channel the private network channel so that the private connection is established private connection is established between all these between all these and the virtual private network implementations to implement this virtual private network what are the requirements, what are the necessity, what are the necessity requirements that users have. 
So the first one is what hardware. This one is what hardware. So usually it is a VPN, virtual private network type router. Virtual private network type router. So what is the what are the advantages of this one is what highest network throughput. It, it indicates that what highest network throughput. And it is easy to plug and play. It is easy to plug and play. That means you can insert into the plug and you can easy to remove, the, remove from the plug. And dual purpose. You can use it for the dual purpose. You can use it for dual purpose. And the consequences is what uh, like cost and the lack of flexibility. So one is uh, cost and the lack of flexibility. So this is the hardware. This is the hardware requirements that uh, we have to support for implementation of virtual private network. And the second one is software. Second one, software. So it is ideal for two endpoints in different organizations. So it is an ideal for two endpoints in different organizations. So suppose A is one organization and B is one organization. So the, the two endpoints, that means the, U, the virtual private network implemented at A and the virtual private network implemented at B is to be is to be ideal is to be ideal or same is to be ideal or same. So at this moment, the software is reliable for uh, for the transmission of the data. So ideal for two endpoints in different organization, and uh, it is uh, flexible and it is a low relative cost. It is, uh, Flexible under low relative costs. Consequences are nothing but lack of efficiency, lack of efficiency, and more labor training required. So, to maintaining this all, more labor training is also required. To maintaining all this, more labor training also required. And lower productivity, lower productivity. So, it, it does not have any guarantee to make products. And the higher labor costs. Higher labor costs because the more labor training requires, so higher labor costs also required. And the next one, firewall is also there. Firewall is also required. So to for implement to use a firewall is the advantage is what cost effective. So advantage cost effective and a tri purpose, tri purpose, and it hardens the operating system. It hardens the operating system. And uh, consequences is what still relatively costly still it is relatively costly so that is the that is the hardware and software requirements are implemented for the virtual private network implementation so here the example of virtual private network implemented with some modes some tunnel modes some tunnel modes so what are those so here we can understand that what this is the user system with the IP security. This is the user system with IP security, and this all this all indicates that what a public uh, private network, public or uh, private network. That means public internet. And here the systems, the systems connected with the switches. The systems are connected with the switches, and the network device also with the IP security. Network device also IP security. So, without having this virtual private network, all these devices get, all these devices get, all these devices get attacked by the attacker because these all the devices are not in secure mode, not in secure mode. So, to make them secure mode, they have to implement it with the virtual private network mode, virtual private network mode. So, here, this channel, uh, this channel is protected by IP secure. This channel is protected by IP secure, and this channel is also protected by IP secure, and this channel is also protected by IP secure. But in this, so because of the protection of this IP secure channels, the inside of the public network, the inside of the public network is a private network that is virtual. That is virtual private network. Virtual private network. So, this all the network is virtual tunnel protected by IP secure. Virtual tunnel is protected by IP secure because all these devices are connected with IP secure. All these devices are connected with IP secure. So that 
all the implementation, all the network instead of this public network is a private network so that they can access easily. They can access easily and safely also. They can access easily and safely also. And what are the VPN protocols, virtual private network protocols that are being implemented for protocol implementation? So the first one is what point to point tunneling protocol. So PPT2. It stands for what? Point to point tunneling protocol. So it is developed by Microsoft. It is developed by Microsoft to secure dial-up connections. So in the previous days there are dial-up connections are there, especially especially used by especially used by BSNL offices, BSNL offices in our India. So it operates in the data link layer. It operates in the data link layer. So point to point tunneling protocol. So it maintains secure with the dial-up connections. And the second one is what L2F layer to forwarding protocol. Layer to forwarding protocol. So it is developed by Cisco. It is developed by Cisco, but it is same similarly as uh, like uh, operates in the data link layer, and it is use it, it uses dial-up connections, secure dial-up connections. It is also uses secure dial-up connections. And next one, L2TP. That is nothing but layer two tunneling protocol. Layer two tunneling. So it is also an Internet Engineering Task Force standard. It is an Internet Engineering Task Force standard, and it combines the functionality of it combines the functionality of PPTP and L2F. PPTP and L2F. So it combines the functionality of both PPTP as well as L2F. But the but the process operation is. The same as in the operated in the data link layer. The operation is same as in the data link layer. And next one, IP secure. IP secure. So Internet Protocol Security. Internet Protocol Security. So it is a open standard for VPN virtual private network implementation. It is a open standard for virtual private network implementation. But it it operates in the network layer. It operates in the Network layer, but this, but this PPTP, L2U and L2TP are operated in the are operated in the operated in the data link layer, data link layer. But this IP secure is operated in the IP secure operated in the network layer, network. So these are all the different types of protocols that are being helped to implement virtual private network. Virtual private network. So by implementing this virtual private network, what are the advantages? What are the advantages of virtual private network? So first one is what cheap connection. So to implement this virtual private network, there is a less cost is required. There is a less cost is required. So that's why it's cheaper connection. It uses the internet connection instead of the private leased line. It uses to implement this virtual private network. We don't want to use a private lease lines also. We don't want to use a private lease lines. Automatically, we can access it from public internet, right? So we don't want to use a private lease lines. And the second one is what scalability. The second one is what scalability. So it is a flexibility of the growth, flexibility of the growth. And efficiency with the broadband technology, efficiency with the broadband technology. So because of using the, because of using laser line dial-up laser lines or dial-up connections, dial-up connections, the efficiency with the broadband technology is scalable. Efficiency with the broadband technology is very scalable and availability. And availability. So it available anywhere, everywhere there is an internal internet connection. So wherever the internet connection is established, wherever the internet connection is established, automatically the private network is also implemented. Virtual private network also, virtual private network also implemented. So 
it is very less cost to connect less cost to implementing and it is very scalable for the broadband technology it is very scalable and efficient for broadband technology and it is a easily available for all the internet connections it is easily available for all the internet connections and the disadvantages and the disadvantages are disadvantages are virtual private network requires it requires an in depth in depth understanding of public network so virtual private networks requires an in depth understanding of public network security issues so if we are accessing a network from public we are accessing a network from public this is a public internet this is a public internet so accessing a network from public internet there is some network issues will be there network security issues will be there and uh, proper deployment precautions also proper deployment precautions also so whenever we are accessing public internet automatically if public network public internet get uh, uh, public internet get attacked automatically the services are been stopped for this private network services are stopped for this private network and the availability and performance availability and performance depends on factors largely outside of their control largely outside of their control so availability is one and performance also both are not both are not having dependence and they are depending on the factors largely outside of their control so how how the internet is providing the service and how the internet is going to be connected so based on the parameters based on the factors only the virtual private network available and the performance is going to be in informed informed and virtual private networks need to accommodate need to accommodate some protocols other than ip other than ip and the existing internal network technology so virtual private networks need to accommodate some sort of protocols because virtual private network is a is a secure private network is a secure private network so if it if it indicates secure private network means it indirectly contains some secure protocols some secure protocols so other than ip it having some secure protocols like uh, authentication header uh, encapsulating security payload or ip secure some sort of some sort of security protocols is to be accommodated is to be accommodated so without this without this accommodation without this accommodation the virtual private network may not be implemented efficiently may not be implemented efficiently so the virtual virtual private network is implemented for all is implemented for all for all different types of organization for all different types of organizations for all different types of organizations or is different types of different types of companies different types of industries everywhere majorly all the standard companies standard standard industries are using this virtual private network virtual private network so this is all about the advantages and the disadvantages of virtual private network so what are the advantages it is very less and very cheap connection that means less cost to implement the connection and is scalable for broadband technology and it is available for uh, when internet connection is available then virtual private network is also available so that is about these advantages and disadvantages so once again we revert the topics which we discussed in this session so virtual private network so what is meant by virtual private network first of all virtual private network what is meant by it so virtual private network is is using as a private network across the public network so virtual private network is implemented to access network privately across the public network so for that we have to create some secure tunnel for that we have to create some secure tunnel over the public network so what are the types of secure tunnels we have to implement 
So client to firewall is one type, router to router is one type, and the firewall to firewall is also one type. So like the way some sort of secure tunnels or secure channels that we have to implement for the virtual private network. So because of that creating channels, virtual private network, virtual private network is defined as it is defined as the private channel, virtual private channel accessing virtual private channel accessing private network, private network across across public network, across public network. So because of this secure channel created, we can access private, we can access the network privately. We can access the network privately. And there are two types of there are two types of the remote access and the site to site VPN. Site to site VPN. So along with that some basic types of virtual private networks. One is remote access virtual private network. Second one is site to site virtual private network. And the third one point to point virtual private network. So all these are different types of virtual private networks. And here is the implementation of uh, some how they are using for the office purpose or documentation purpose. All these all these users and all these offices are connected through internet through virtual private network, and they can use this virtual private network channel for sharing of their documents to the branches or headquarters. Branches or headquarters. So. They have they have their own channel for each customer, each user to branch or each mobile user to headquarter. So that no one can enter into this channel. No one can enter into this channel to access or modify the channel information. And to implement that virtual private network, what are the requirements? What are the necessity requirements? What are the necessity requirements? Necessity requirements that we have to maintain. So to maintain that, to implement the virtual private network, we require hardware, software, and some firewalls. So the, in the hardware, the virtual private network type router, router is also router is required first. Of all. Then next software, which is which is having same virtual private network connection for both end to end connections, same virtual connection for both the end to end connections and next the firewalls. So firewalls are also implementing in the systems. So here is here is we can understand how the virtual private network implemented with the uh, different modes, with the tunnel modes. So here uh, how the devices are configured with virtual private network and uh, the users are going to be access their offices, documentations, or files are from other offices or other systems, how they are accessing. So this is all virtual private network implemented channel, virtual private network implemented channel. And what are the protocols that we have implement, what are the protocols that we have required to implement this virtual private network. So there are some sort of protocols like point to point tunneling protocol and a layer to forwarding protocol. And then next layer to tunneling protocols and then next IP secure internet protocol security internet protocol security so PPTP this means point to point under layer to forwarding protocol both protocols are operated in the data link layer both protocols are operated in the data link layer but in the IP security is IP security is operated in the network layer and the advantages so to implementing that virtual private network, we have to require only the less we have to require only the channels and the, the channels are also with the broadband technology. So it is available when the internet connection is available. It is available when the internet connection is available. And the disadvantages. So it requires a deep understanding of public network security issues. So based on the security issues. We have to understand very deeply and uh, proper deployment precautions. And availability and performance also depending on factors based on the outside of their control. And the virtual private networks need to accommodate protocols other than IP. So 
not only IP, it has to implement with other security protocols also. So these are all the virtual private network implementation with the help of some protocols, with the help of some requirements and all the modes. So this is all about the virtual private network implementation along with their advantages and disadvantages. That is about virtual private network implementation. Thank you all. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.